joining Miss Universe Philippines Queen, Beatrice Luigi Gomez.
please um, pick an envelope. Miss Misamis Oriental, here is your question. What is your biggest insecurity and how do you address it? My socioeconomic status has been one of the biggest insecurities that I've had. Seven years ago, I was just a meager, marginalized orphan, starving and trying to make her way through. But now you see me, when you see me, think about how I've worked hard and studied even harder to be here and to aspire to conquer the universe. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Miss Misa, Miss Oriental. Next up, we have Miss Makati. Ms. Makati, here's your question. What is your greatest fear and how do you try to overcome it? Honestly, my greatest fear is making a fool out of myself sometimes. But I conquer that by always putting myself in that kind of situations. Actually, just joining a pageant was something that I was very scared about because of the pressure. But I'm standing here in front of you hoping to be your next Miss Universe so that I can make my country proud once again. Ang minamahal kong Pilipinas. Thank you very much, Ms. Makati. Next up, let's call in Ms. Tagig. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to thank all my supporters, all the judges. Maraming maraming salamat. Ms. Tagig. If you could teach Filipinos one thing, what would it be and why? It would be start loving yourself. Me, as a person, I have a lot of flaws. I am not perfect. And I may not be the perfect Miss Universe, but I am here trying to conquer my fear, trying to be a better person. And pageant really helped me to be a transformed woman, to be truly uniquely beautiful. And I think that is what I be having in Miss Universe. That is my greatest. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Tagi. Let's call on Miss Pasay. Miss Pasay. Ms. Pasay, if you could stop time for a day, how would you spend it? If I could stop time, I would spend it with my family, especially my mother. It's been two years that I don't see my family because they live in Italy, and I came here in the Philippines just by myself. So if I had a chance to spend one day, I would definitely be with my mom, and I would just tell her how much I love her and I miss her. Thank you. I'm sure she's proud of you. Thank you, Miss Pasay. Next up, Miss Bohol. Well, we have one left, so <laughs> honor is yours. <laughs> Miss Bohol. What is that one life-changing decision that you've made? And what was its impact on your life? The life-changing decision I've made was to join Miss Universe Philippines again. <laughs> Despite being bashed before for my body, being doubted by people, I found strength in myself. And this story can be a testament for other people to draw strength from too. That a second chance can be as just as sweet and you can still achieve your ultimate a second time around. I can relate. Thank you, Ms. Bohol.
presenting this year's final five. And one of these five uniquely beautiful women will be our next queen. Miss Misamis Oriental. 